Hi everybody and welcome to my channel here at Book HQ. Today I'm going to be talking about something that we have been talking about on the internet, on the book internet, on the net, nerd internet for a good long while since the trailers came out. And that is Batman v Superman. So there's been a lot of chitter chatter about this ever since the trailers came out. People weren't happy and you know the studio did a lot of work to make better trailers and the film finally came out. So I went and I watched it. And I'm going to say the things that I like, the things I didn't like, and some questions that I have. I'm going to try and make this one a video that doesn't have any spoilers. I am hoping that makes it a little bit shorter. It always takes forever to upload on YouTube. Um, let's jump right into it. So, Batman v Superman. It came out. It's a super long movie. They're just setting up the Justice League um, movies, which will be coming out. It's kind of like the callback to Marvel's um, Avengers. What did I think about the movie? It's kind of dark a lot of the time. But it is visually really amazing. Um, it's very entertaining. Uh, it's got a bit of a pacing issue. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it. And um, I think a lot of people had a lot of things to say about the trailers when they came out. And a lot of people had a lot of hesitations about Ben Affleck playing Batman. I don't know. I kind of feel like the best Batmans were Christian Bale and Michael Keaton. Um, although, like... Christian Bale's Batmobile, you know, is unparalleled in terms of its coolness and its badassness and like that machine was a beast. It kind of felt like because it's like several years later, technology has advanced, special effects stuff has advanced, I kind of thought it would, you know, take Christian Bale's mobile to the next level. But it didn't. It was kind of meh. And we didn't really see like a lot of the stuff that it does. Really do. But, you know. I guess they make up for that with the really cool fight scenes that we see. Doomsday is there. People were not happy that it didn't look exactly like the Doomsday from the comic book. I had no problem with that because I don't expect things to look exactly the same as the comic books. I think it's really hard to uh, mimic uh, comic books in real life with the CGI and the technology and everything. So yeah, that didn't really bother me. But he sort of um, evolves during the film. so. You know, hopefully that makes the fans happy. The thing that I liked about the film was that it was really entertaining. The special effects are really cool. There are some really, really cool fight scenes in there that just like, oh, blew my mind away. That's pretty much the gist of the good things. Um, then there's Wonder Woman. And personally, I think the good things is that um, she's a very strong character. However, I didn't see very much character development and I guess that's pretty obvious because the film's not about her and that we'll see later in her own standalone movie I'm, I'm sure um, I will say without trying to give anything away it kind of felt like she was just like shoehorned in there like because she didn't really I feel like she didn't really need to be there you know what I mean she was like extra help uh, when they needed it when the two heroes needed it but like I think they could have done without her and like aside from that she was just like fleeting in and out of scenes um i guess that I, what i'm saying is like, i think that the the movie had a hard time i guess tying in her story into the rest of the main story we have the two heroes kind of fighting each other my major thing the thing that i didn't like about the movie was that like it was kind of set up that the two heroes are different because they have different ideologies and so they approach like heroing from two very different points of view and each one sees the other as not doing it uh, the right way or in a way that's uh, I want to say sustainable but um, that's responsible that's socially responsible you're bad, you're bad. Um, and I really wish that they had really run with that and followed that idea through um which i felt that they kind of didn't because in the end like the two have their big clash clash of the titans and it's really not even about the different ideologies so mm, i think it would have been a better film if they had really like gone with that and stuck with that i think the main question that i have is that like at the end something big happens it's and it takes a really long time to happen too. Like, and then, at the very end of all of it, it's like, oh, psych, that didn't really happen. I was like, wait, what? why did we just go through that if it didn't really happen? It, it kind of felt like that last um, installment of the Twilight movies where there's like this huge fight scene. And then at the end, they're like, psych, it was 
was all a dream and it's like wait why why have you just wasted our lives like that these are minutes that we can't get back okay weird another thing i didn't like is that the film was really long it's the toilet like once during the, the screening just couldn't hold it anymore and then there's also the fact that jesse eisenberg is playing lex luther's son i kind of thought it was weird that he had this riddler-esque type of character or personality um, but I mean, again, that was explained because he's not the Lex Luthor of old that we know. He's the son of that Lex Luthor. And I know I had a discussion with my sister about this and she was like, oh no, I hated that. I can't believe you enjoyed it. What? I thought it was okay. <laughs> so why don't you guys like, tell me what you guys think, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, why, um, what your theories about it are. And if you'd like me to do more spoiler free videos like this one let me know that as well i'll see you guys for another video soon so bye bye